Hey traders, Akil Stokes here. I know it's been a while, but I am back with another fantastic weekend review video in store for you guys. Because I took a little leave of absence, I'm gonna give you an extra great video today talking about an advanced entry technique called the stop and reverse and uh, showing you a few very high probability trades that are on my radar. Well, at least trades that have a very good risk reward uh, ratio to them. Uh, so sit back and relax and enjoy a very special weekend review video. All right, gang, my name is Akil Stokes, head currency trader at Trade Empowered, and it's great to be back. As many of you know, I've been gone for about two weeks. I apologize, but it's been a very uh it's been a very busy last couple months between traveling up to Connecticut then down to Texas. Um, and then holding and hosting the Free Vision Week event. Um, and then, of course, wel welcoming my, uh, my first child into this world this past week. But I have returned, um, so no worries. It is, it's all good now. Um, and I've got a, a very special video for you today. Now, we covered a lot in today's live trading room. What I expected was a very slow day, just because on the higher time frames, there wasn't a lot of action out there. But um, we did what we usually do. We stick to our routine. We work our way down from the higher time frames down to the day trading time frames. And we actually found some pretty good opportunities today, uh, the best of which came on Euro dollar. Now, I've got some live footage that I recorded from today's live room session that I'm going to show you. Um, but I want to talk to you a little bit about the technique we cover, and it's called an SAR or a stop in reverse. And basically, a stop in reverse is an advanced technique when you want to when you're involved in one trade and you want to go directly from one trade to another uh changing positions so for an example if you're currently long the euro dollar and then you you do your analysis you pick out a point where you want to be short instead of uh you know taking targets out from your from your long entry right away and waiting for the short entry to enter what you're doing is you're trading that long entry all the way up to where you think the market's in reverse. You're putting on an aggressive limit order, and that limit order is not only going to get you out of your current long position, but it's also going to put you short. Um, so we see this a lot if you're trading, if you're a channel trader, if you're um, you know trading something like a triangle pattern or something like that. I personally use them in uh, advanced patterns. Now, this is where it gets kind of blurry. This technique is also something that's used when, when we used to talk about the aggressive C technique. And this is a this is a technique Jason and I don't teach anymore. And it's not because it's a bad technique, but well, I'll be honest with you. Most of you out there will use it the wrong way. Um, and we get so many traders that that don't take the time to learn the skill, don't take the time to learn how and when to use the technique. They just sit back and say, well, Akil uses it, so I'm going to use it. And what happens is they lose a lot of money uh, really quickly. Now, how does that affect me? It doesn't. Um, but I do have a conscience. I do have a, a, a heart. And I, I, I don't like creating the impression. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like having you guys lose money off of a, a false observation. Um, so I do teach it in my training course. I teach it a specific way. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say is, Please don't go out there after this video and try to trade aggressive C's because uh, in full disclosure, you will lose a lot of money really, really fast. There we go. I covered my back. Uh, so let's take a look at the live footage from today's live room session. Again, this is called a stop and reverse technique. We did it on the euro dollar, um, identifying an advanced pattern first and then actually identifying a structure trade uh, that happened to be at the C leg of that advanced pattern. So sit back. Check it out, uh, rewind and take notes, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Sell 20 at market. What that's gonna do is, it's gonna buy me, it's gonna sell me out of my current long position for about, um, what, 30 something pips? And then it's going to put me short one again if we get up there. For this one, I want to do the exact opposite. I'm going to sell 40. And this is called a stop and reverse, guys. I'm going to sell 40. And hopefully we get up there and we don't just miss it. It's going to stink if we do. 
but stops you're going to go to break even regardless. I'm going to sell 40. So again, it's going to take me out of my two bullish positions and put me in two positions bearish. Does that, does that make sense to you guys? You guys follow me on this? Give me a no if you don't, and I can explain it. No, you don't. All right. Let me get my stops on because I, I need to... I need to protect my profit first and foremost, and I'll, I'll go back and explain it to you guys. Um, bang. You better not turn around, Euro. After all the work we did, you better not turn around. All right, so here's what we're doing. Let's get the numbers and all this stuff out of here. We initially start off by identifying a potential Gartley pattern. We also identified a potential structure trade down here, which happened to be at the sea leg of a Gartley pattern. So what I did on the range bar charts, and again, it's going to stink if I don't get filled by one pip. Ooh, but we bought it up down here, right? We bought it up down here. So let's say I bought, let's say on, on this account, I bought 10, right? Let's say I bought one. I bought one, so I'm bullish one position going up. I want to get short the Gartley pattern at the completion, right? I want to get short one position as well. So if I'm bullish one, in order to get short one, I need to sell two. And what selling two is going to do is, is going to buy me out, or it's going to sell me out of my one bullish position, so giving me profit on that. And then it's going to get me short one position going the opposite direction. Does that make it a little clear? It's called a stop and reverse. Basically, you take yourself out of one trade and put yourself directly into the next trade. Stop and reverse. Cool. I mean, it might take too long to exit the long. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's no... If you know you're, if you know you're getting involved at the same point, there's no point of exiting at market and then re-entering again. You could do it. Um, it's the same thing. Why not give you? Why not make it easier, and just have one order that does both for you? So I, I don't really like watching these things, so I'm not going to do it. I'm gonna. We talked about driving ourselves crazy earlier. I'm not a fan of watching these trades move, but that may give us an example. All right. So did get filled. Euro um, banked about 36 pips on the way up. And you can see it directly, and, it's, and these markets move fast, especially on the lower time frames. It directly got me filled short. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my previous sell limit, which was right here, um, which was used as my stop. Um, nope, I'm going to have to change this, actually. I'm going to make sure to get targets on now for the Gartley pattern short now um, at the 382. So it, it's, you know, no time to celebrate. Make sure you adjust whatever positions need to be adjusted. But... A good example you guys can see is, um, again, you, you don't have to waste time trying to put new orders on there. It, it just automatically does it for you. So it's pretty cool to have that stop and reverse. Maybe this thing will blow through. Hey, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get back to back winners on this. But a good win on euro dollar. Uh, now we're ready for round two. Did pound dollar get hit too? Nope. Pound dollar is going the opposite direction. There we go. Perfect example of uh, how a stop and reverse works. Now, it doesn't always happen like this, but when it does, is a good example of, again, IPDE, if you get ahead of the market, you know, even in consolidation when the market's going back and forth, um, there are trading opportunities out there. And we got a, a really good example of trading one up, stopping reversing, being aggressive, trading it back down. And in total, I made about 56 pips off of it. Um, I only took a first target on the euro dollar Gartley pattern, or was it bat pattern? Gartley pattern, only took first target on there. If you took targets too, um, you probably made what? Another 10, 15 pips on top of that. So well done. Pat yourself on the back and, and hopefully uh, hopefully you gained some confidence, some confidence in that skill. Um, and then again, what do we always say about confidence or belief? The more belief you have, the more likely you are to take the right actions. The more you take the right actions, the more likely you are to see the right results. The more you see the right results, 
the more that belief grows even further. So we want to keep that cycle strong. Let's go. Again, I got two more pairs I want to look at. Let's go to Pound Aussie. All right. Hope you guys thought that was pretty cool. Now, before I let you go, there are two, uh, as I promised, there are two trading opportunities that I want to give you guys a look at. We've been working on oil and gold a lot in the live room this week, mainly because one of my 12-week transformation members, he mainly trades these pairs. And he's really about, uh, what, about 10 weeks? 10 weeks into the program. So he's, he's at the point where he's learned everything he needs to learn technically. And now he's working on just fine tuning that system, fine tuning those rules and continuing to work on the psychology. So he's been taking a lot of the techniques learned through that course and using them on different markets. And what do I say all the time? You guys can use these techniques that the, the skill of technical analysis just isn't for Forex. Although I mainly concentrate on Forex, um, it doesn't you can use this on in the stock market. You can use this on gold, on uh, you know, oil, whatever you want to trade it on. It, it's the skill. Um, and here on gold or here on oil, I should say, here's the first thing I noticed. Let's start with our IPDE and just do a quick prediction. We are in a bearish trend based on this time frame. If you do not believe that, you should go somewhere. Um, because this market has done nothing but gone down since October. Um also, using the skill of uh, just learning how to read price action, we know that we have what down here? Lower, low, lower, close. Lower, low, lower, close means trend continuation in that direction. Um, and we should expect what? An outside return, a, a pullback, a retracement, whatever terminology you want to use. Where is our pullback or our retracement most likely to come to? Well, if I just draw my little lines on here, we're most likely to come to previous structure. Again, just reading the market, swing high to swing low. I, I, need, I need a different color. Yellow is not going to cut it on this chart. There we go. Swing high to swing low. Outside return. Swing high to swing low. Come on. Trading view is being diff difficult today. There we go. Swing high to swing low. Outside return. Swing high to swing low. Repeat. Swing high to swing low. We should expect an outside return to come to our previous structure low. So if I go ahead and draw a horizontal line on here, this is the level we're expecting the market to retest before we continue to the downside or at least continue to, to retest those structure lows. Now, again, you, you do want to do your due diligence. I haven't looked at I don't normally trade this pair. So you do want to check out oil on the higher time frames. Make sure we're not at a, a major structure level on the daily or the four hour. Uh, but on this time frame, here's what we got. We've got a structure level right here on this black line, correct? You see the market hit it once, broke below it, support becomes resistance, bang, market tried to get through, held. Market tried to get through again, held. So we essentially double topped at this level, hitting it three times. The last three times we touched it, the market has shown to respect it. If we zoom in a little bit more, well, I guess the first thing we should be telling ourselves is, is this a level I want to get short at? Yes or no? Um, I can't answer that for you. That's up to you. I would say yes, personally. Next question is, how can I get involved? Identify, predict, decide, execute. How can I get involved? And we actually have a potential uh, Gartley pattern here, bat pattern. Let me just check, uh, see if it's a 618 or a 50% here. Looks like we missed the 618 by a little bit. Check your chart. Um, it may be slightly different. Looks like we have a bat pattern here, which is going to give us an X to A, A to B, B to C, and the C do completion right up at this level. Um, and again, I'm not, not drawing it in exact, but just giving you an idea for what it should be at. So not only do you have, again, you, you identify the overall trend, the underlying trend is bearish. You predict what's going to happen. Well, the market is most likely to hit our previous support level, which is now resistance, and then give us a retracement or an extension down to the downside. We decide that this is a level we want to get involved in. Now the question is, how are we going to enter? Well, if you're an advanced pattern trader, guess what? You've got an advanced pattern, a bat pattern completion right at the level you're looking at for a structure based trade. Again, you want to take the trades where everything, you know, the, the stars and the moon align. Everything is on the table right there with a big sign that says free money. Take me. Those are the high probability trading opportunities you want to involve ourselves in. So lastly, before I uh, run out of time here. This is one I shared with my syndicate members on Wednesday, maybe. We're looking at Euro, Euro Aussie on the daily. You can see this on the four hour too. Uh, maybe I should go down to a four hour chart. Now nah, it's easier on the daily. Um, 
this is one for you guys that like risk rewards. Again, it's going to be another Gartley pattern completion. It's going to be a very deep one. Our X leg is going to be right up here. You can see we have an impulse leg giving us an X to A. Swing high, swing low, X to A. A to B retracement. Now, this is going to be a very, very deep retracement, meaning it doesn't come, it doesn't reverse right at the 618. It's going to go a little bit further. But as long as we don't hit that 786, we're still in good Gartley pattern um, position. Now, the positives about this deep retracement means that we're going to have a very deep completion. And we're going to get a D leg for our, our Gartley pattern here that completes right at 4693s around this area, right near our DSR level. And what's the benefit of this? Well, we know where stops need to go, right? Stops need to go above our X leg. So our stop loss needs to go somewhere probably around this 4750 area, just to give you guys an, an idea. Which means if we're entering right here at the completion, stop loss goes right here. We're looking at about a 77 pip stop loss. Now, don't get out of hand about 77 pips. If, if, you're, if you're a trader that trades on the daily chart, this is not big at all for you. But I want you guys to concentrate not on the pip amount because there are ways you can get around that. We can change position size. We have alternate entry techniques. Tons of ways we can, we can deal with that. Um, just pay attention to the, the ratio, the risk reward ratio. Our stop loss is right here. Let's draw it out a little box for that. We're looking at entering here to here. And it may be less than that, actually. I may have shortchanged myself a little bit. Let's do that one more time. We're looking at entering at 46, yep, 55. There we go, 58 pip stop. Makes it, a little, makes it a little better for some of you. But we're looking at a risk of about this much. Boom, let's make it red for risk. However, our reward, we're taking Fibonacci retracement from our A leg to our potential D leg completion. Our reward is going to be our 3D2. See, this is when it's starting. Some of your eyes are getting wide saying, oh, I see what you're talking about now. This is our reward compared to our risk. We're looking at risking 58 to potentially making 179. Now, I'm not the best with math, um, but you're probably looking at about a four to one risk reward here. Let's see. We've got one. Two, three. As I said, I'm probably not good at math. <laughs> so a very good risk reward here on Euro Aussie. So there you go. Two trading opportunities for you. Um, and I want to mention one more thing. It, it was something I heard. Maybe I should save this. Um, well, one more thing I heard on uh, a sports talk radio show. And the guy was, it was a guy named Callan Cowherd, who does ESPN radio. He was talking about different quarterbacks in, in the NFL and how some of the best quarterbacks aren't the ones that came out with a silver spoon, people that had to work for it. People like, if you're familiar with football, Aaron Rodgers, who was a backup for a long time, or Tom Brady, who was, you know, probably the worst person coming out of the draft. Um, um, but how these guys have become you know, the best quarterbacks in the league. And he mentioned, the, uh, he said a quote, he said, uh, failure is the, uh, um, what do you say? I wrote it down. He said something, he said, I think it was hard times or some type of struggle is the vaccine for failure. I forgot the first half. Um, but I, it caught my attention because in one of our live room sessions, I got asked the question. I said, the guy said, Akil, is there any part of your trading journey that you regret? And at first I'm like, well, yeah, I regret, regret wasting all those years losing money. I regret managing uh, money and blowing $30,000 in a week. Um, a lot of things I regret. But then I think about it. And I really have no regrets because it was those times, it was, it was making it through those tough times that made me the trader I am today. If I, if I didn't struggle for so many years before taking a, a training course, you know, I, I may have not been as serious about that training course. Like a lot of you guys, I came in thinking, oh, you know, I'm a smart guy. I can get this. You know, Joe Smo on the Internet's doing it. Why can't I? I had a lot of pride and thought that I can just do it myself. I'll find a way to do it myself. I'll just watch YouTube videos all day and read books and I, I can do it. That's how I've got through life up to this point. So it took me failing trying to do it to my own to realize that I need help. So I think if I never had those years of failing, I never would have 
even if I took a training course, I probably wouldn't have taken it seriously. I would have been like, well, I could, I could have done this myself. So I don't regret that. And I, I also don't regret the money management uh, or managing money. You know, 30,000 is, is, is a lot of money. Um, uh, uh, up to that point, more money than I had ever seen. And, you know, losing it wasn't fun. But if there's one thing I can gain for it is I, I dealt with so much pain. It was such a psychological impact that, I don't think anything can ever hurt me again in this market. Meaning if I, I can go on a month long drawdown and that type of pain um, won't compare to that period in time. And that that's what keeps me emotionally stable. It allows me to, to continue to um, trade my plan and trade through the rough times because guess what? It doesn't phase me anymore. So you've got to go through those drawdowns and you've got to trade yourself through them. And I think that's how the conversation started. Um, some guy in the live room said that, he was in a drawdown and finally traded himself out of it. And once you do that for the first time, it stinks when you're going through it. But once you do that for the first time, you really develop a belief in yourself and in your system. And you know what we always say? There's, there's, there's a big cycle. The more uh, the, 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 the bigger belief you have in yourself, that belief allows you to take the right action. As soon as you take the right actions, you'll start seeing the right results. When you start seeing the right results, you start to believe it even more and your belief gets stronger. You take more of the right actions. You see more of the right results and it keeps going in a cycle of success. Um, that sounds nice. Cycle of success. So I wanted to share that with you guys before I left. Um, I thought that was very important. It was a great conversation we had in the live room and um, I had recorded it originally, but I deleted it. So, yeah, shame on me. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new and you want to stay involved, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. That way, every time I put out a video, you are the first to know about it. Um, and if you guys want to be involved uh, more on a day-to-day -day basis, of course, there's always the syndicate program. There's always the live room. Uh, you can shoot me an email at akeel at tradeandpower.com if you want to know how to get hooked up with those. Um, I'm a horrible promoter, so just, you know, join. <laughs> so until next time traders plan your trade trade your plan good luck in the markets uh for the rest of this week and throughout the weekend and uh well i probably won't see you next week because it's thanksgiving but next time around um i look forward to seeing you once again for another another live room weekend review take care